uh, dunk vlog yesterday. Check that out. I actually dunked, and I'm actually super shocked. Sexy lady, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it too early for that? Yeah. Are my neighbors here? I don't know. Will I get a studio eventually? I hope. Full. I'm hopeful about it. Episode seventy of Mother F and Daily, baby. Is this gonna continue daily? I don't know. This is episode seventy. Do I have a trip coming up? I can't explicitly say, but I can explicitly say yes. Huh? I want to take a weekend trip. I don't know if I can do this. It's too much pressure. But I do have episodes I can put that can hold you over. But if somebody, if I miss a day or two and somebody comes and says, Hey, you missed a day. This is daily. Why, why are you calling it daily? They're not going to know. You got to listen to them and you can't, you can't just jump. That's on you. You jump on the bandwagon or you jump on the train and you say, Hey, I fucking, you said daily and I, you didn't do it yesterday. Well, did you listen to the other ones? No. So what are you doing? You're not even listening to them daily. I'm trying to make them daily, bro. I'm ahead of you. But I'm also you because this is the universe we live in. I'm you, you're me. This is, and we live it up to the most. I had the craziest dreams. I had a dream that I that kept repeating. I had it at least four times. And at the end of it, I'm like, why am I having this dream? So I'm very close to lucid dreaming because I was thinking about lucid dreaming last night, writing some jokes about it, how I'm going to wake up with the biggest fucking, <laughs> I don't even want to say it. It's, it's vulgar, but it's just like, it's really funny how your dreams combine with reality. And so, ran- so you have like these weird random f- subconscious, like say you watch a video of like a tiger on TV. And then you, you're also thinking about your, um, uh, father-in-law. And then all of a sudden those combine in your dreams. See where I'm going? And that's funny. And I was thinking about that last night, writing jokes because, Today, I'm going back to open mic. Happy one week anniversary of my bombing. Condolences to my friggin' ego and my integrity and um, what other words? Evolution and my, um, what's it called? My demeanor and my friggin', uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Comatose. I went comatose, my brain fried, and that was one week ago. And I'm going again. I'm signing up today. Probably won't get to go because there's so many people. If I go up today, will I be terrified again? Yes! Do I want to wait till next week so I'm a little bit more sure of myself? Yeah, but do I think that getting up again is just good to eat more shit? Yes. Eating more shit, you get used to it. And that's also a joke I have written down too. So I was writing jokes last night, which made me have more dreams. I want to have lucid dreams. It's the best. And uh, yeah, welcome to episode 70. What the f- is going on? We have a dunk vlog yesterday. Check that out. I actually dunked and I'm actually super shocked how my hamstring still feels okay. It hurts. It definitely feels like inflamed and stuff like that, but it feels better. Like it feels better than the last time I tried to jump on it, which is, I I can't even believe it. I'm making my 40 inch vertical to 42.5 inch vertical. It's a long story. I'm getting it done, but it's taken me forever. But in that, I'm trying to tell the story of it. And my knee hurt so long during some period that there was parts in the video where I'm like testing my knee and I can't believe it doesn't hurt. Cause every time I bend it, I'm like expecting it to hurt and it doesn't. So that's a weird thing about injuries. Mine's taking forever with this hamstring, but I think I got it figured out. I think I know how to stimulate it correctly. And it's just, you got to You got to live it. You got to live in the moment, baby. I'm meditating. I didn't do it today. Are you doing yours today? We're on the challenge together. I'm you. You're me. Don't forget that. That's the universe. And I also figured out time travel. How does it work? Your brain, your subconscious is the part that's connected to the universe, right? The frequencies. I kind of believe it. I'm not kind of believe it. I really believe it, but I don't like fully grasp how to do it. But if you read Think and Grow Rich or just go to the chapter about subconscious, it's kind of like that's the subconscious is how it gets the messages from the universe and transfers it to you. But you can't even like access your subconscious, but you can kind of influence it sort of. Anyway, if we're living all these lives, some people think that there's like parallel universes, but not even parallel universes. It's just like everything's happening at the same time. There's a future self, a past self, all happening simultaneously. How would the future self... um, uh, like he has feelings. Like if there's me in the future, he has feelings and thoughts and, uh, intuition. And I, that's why I have gut feelings and intuition now, because I'm, I know what already happened in the future, but the only, he's not going to like give me a freaking note on my, on my computer, or like a text, you know? So the only way for him to, or the only way for me to understand what happened in the future is those gut feelings and intuition. So that's time travel. Does that make sense? I hope someone, 
combs through this in 10 years when the technology is so good and I'm so famous that they're like, this guy, I got to look back at how this guy got to this level. And they comb through my thousand videos. <laughs> Do I have a thousand videos yet on YouTube? I'm getting close. And, um, they comb through it and they find this and like, man, he was on to something. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> that'd be crazy. So yeah, having a great time, having a great day. Everything's, everything's looking up, baby. And not just my dunks, baby life, man. I'm talking, I'm talking, we live it out here. We live in with all our cells. I'm getting the subconscious frequencies to tell my body. I'm, I'm using the mild psychosis. And I'm getting better. This is great. I can't believe I'm dunking and I just feel like amazing. I'm like, I can't believe I'm jumping higher than ever. And it just tells my cells, low, yo, 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 he's getting better. He's going to jump like really high. Get the instructions from the universe. Get the DNA sequences and put them, infuse them, infuse them quick because he's going to be using them. I got to drink this coffee. That's what that sound means. And that Gangnam style, whenever you wake up, Whenever I wake up with a song in my head, it's crazy. I'm going to put that on TikTok. Hey, sexy lady. Woo, woo, woo. I want to go to China, too. Um, so, so talking about um, traveling and things like that. I really would love to go there. Man, there's so many places to go. What are we supposed to do? Oh, yeah. Stay tuned for the Dunk Life tip of the day. Don't forget about that. And the notification bell. Oh, my God. If you hit it today out of all days, this is the time that you will... Have your senses increased? So your eyes, this may not be a good thing, but your eyes, your ears, your sense of taste, sense of touch, and is there another one? Smell. Is that five? I don't know. All of them will be increased so sensitively that you can see. I think I already said this, but you can see further. You can hear louder. So you might you might be like really sensitive today, but that's only for um, half the day. And the other thing is that you will also get my exact hamstring pain so you understand me more. So if this is your first time to your channel, not only do you get senses increased, but you also get my hamstring injury. And you're like, why would I want the injury? Just so you associate with me and you kind of understand what I'm going through. Like, oh, wow, that thing really hurts. I, you should really not be even walking. But that's how I live. And but it won't but it won't actually be damaged. You'll just have the sensation of pain for half a day. So that's what you do. Hit the bell button. You really get that. And I'm really happy about that. And thanks to everybody that's subscribed because I really like to grow the channel. 50K by December is the push, baby. I'm pushing for 50K, which means I'm putting all my energy in my content and I'm loving it. It's so fun to have that focus. Um, because sometimes I try to focus on other things, but I want to make the best thing and see what I can do and see how far I can push it. I love pushing it. That's what it's about. See? And so I push that button and that's what happens. Um, and what I wanted to talk about was the fucking dunk life tip of the day. So that's all I'm getting to it right now. Um, and also just stay tuned for that part two video because 40 to 42.5 is a long story and I'm excited to kind of make a story out of it. And I think it gives a lot of insight into training and what goes into it and like the, the outlook you need to have because a lot of different things took like three to six months to get over or learn about. So it takes time. So, um, that's it. Um, the dunk life tip of the day is fun. And there's, there's the dunk side of it and the life side. The dunk side of it is have fun with it. Make fun of yourself, roast yourself so you can get better. Don't be like, Oh, I'm doing this. The mild psychosis is one thing where you're trying to get better and you're telling yourself you get better, but also make fun of yourself, but have fun in your sessions. Cause whenever I have fun, I'm looser. It's all about having fun. If you're, if you're too caught up on goals and proving something, you may not be as loose and you may not have the right mentality and mindset to have you perform the way you need to, to stimulate the right responses you need in that particular workout. So have fun with every one of your workouts and have fun with the dunks. Even if that means just jumping on a low room and going to have fun, that's going to, that's going to help you in the long run. It's going to make your mind better. It's clearer, less stress and perform better in the long run. Cause I've had more sessions where I'm going to have fun and I do better than I've had sessions where I'm like, I'm going to do great today. This is my day. I need to go crazy. And then, and then I actually do good. Usually those days don't do well. And usually, and so it's, it's, but it's tough. Cause I don't, I don't, I never go there saying, um, uh, I'm going to have fun and then try to be super loose. A lot of times I'm like too tense. Um, but it's just, if, if I just go and just think whatever happens, I'm going to focus, you stay focused on the goal. That's what I did yesterday. I got a little bit too excited cause I haven't jumped in a while, but the point is, is I was like, you know what, let's just see how it goes. And I think that way I perform a lot better. Everybody's different, but that's my advice. Am I more successful than you at jumping and improving my vertical? Probably. Am I just one of the best YouTubers and dunk vloggers? There is a hundred percent. And that's not even a question though. <sighs> So the life side of it 
is making fun. When you make fun of things, when people make fun of you, remember it's making fun. The words are literally um, what's the, formatting enjoyment, not formatting. What's the word I wanted to say? Uh, I can see the word, but I can't say it. Constructing, it's kind of construct, constructing enjoyment, okay? They make fun of you. Don't take it personal. If they say you look fucking stupid, <laughs> just be like, they're making fun. And they're trying to make fun out of something that's not fun. Maybe you don't look fun and you look boring, you know? Maybe that's what they're trying to say. But the point is, everything's fun. If you see everything in a fun way and everybody saw it that way, yeah, there's some assholes out there doing things that whatever, but most of the time people are just making fun, especially when I try to talk to people and especially my friends. That's why you only do it to friends a lot of times because they, they trust you and they know you and they know that you're just making fun and they know that you love them deep down inside. So maybe you got to say that to a stranger, be like, I love you, but this, (laughs) but making fun is all about fun. And I love that side of life is just to make things that are mundane, make any part of life and make fun of it because I want to enjoy more because simply those vibrations of enjoying and laughing literally heal me and I feel the best and I want to shake up my syndrome more. And that's serious. And that's dead serious. And I'm not kidding. Those vibrations feel good. And string theory is where we live. This is the universe we're in. And I I know which ones make me vibrate good. And I want to vibrate. And if you want to vibrate with me, we got to do the meditation every day. I got to find time to do it today. It's only five minutes. If I can't do that today, I don't deserve to have fun. I don't deserve to make fun out of life if I can't find five minutes a day to clear my freaking mind and improve it. So you can respond well. If you meditate every day and someone makes fun of you, you're going to laugh at it. You're going to be able to use that fun and vibrate higher. And that's it. Is there anything else I wanted to say? I think that's it. What the, I don't know what today was. Episode 70. I might, I might miss a day or two coming up in the future, but you guys know, you guys know what I'm doing and I'm excited to be back dunking. I can't believe my hamstring is actually getting better. And I'm also just believing it is too. believe in yourself, read the dunk life laws. And um, that's it. Keep jumping higher. Keep dunking on your friggin' damn self. Love you. Toodaloo. Race, hoping that one day I don't need an introduction. I promise you I will be back flying. No bounce.